Sometimes you need to drop audio effects onto clips or onto the entire track. There's a bunch of different ways that we can do it. That's what we're talking about today in DaVinci Resolve, because we got DaVinci Resolve projects. I got projects like this ATV there, and I also got projects like painting those shutters over there because uh, they're pretty dingy looking. So let's jump into Resolve. I'm gonna show you all the different ways we can add audio effects onto clips, tracks. Let's get into it. We're back in the studio here talking about DaVinci Resolve audio effects. Now, if you have not ever used an audio effect before, you're in for a treat here because there's a whole bunch of different audio effects that come as part of DaVinci Resolve. I think they're all available in the free version. And if it's not all of them, it's almost all of them. And they can really just help sculpt and mold your clips get better audio, take care of problems, create cool effects and different things that you might need when it comes to working with your audio. So we've got a few different ways that we can work with them and apply them onto clips or onto tracks. So let's get started here in the edit tab and I'm gonna show you a few different ways we can work with our audio effects. In DaVinci Resolve here, in order to find your audio effects, you want to come up to your effects library at the top of the screen here. And in your toolbox here, you can come down and you have audio effects. Now I'm gonna be using the Fairlight effects right here. I do have a lot of third party plugins and effects, which I can find under the VST effects or AU effects. So if you are familiar with using other effects from places you might purchase online, or like I've got a tons of waves ones here, you can add them into DaVinci Resolve and use them on your clips or on your tracks. But for now, we're just gonna use the Fairlight effects which come inside of DaVinci Resolve. So in order to choose one of them from here and apply it onto a clip right here in the edit tab, all I have to do is select the one that I want. Let's say I want to use the dialogue processor. I'm gonna click, hold, drag, and then just drop it onto the clip that I wanna use it on. So it'll automatically pop up the window of the effect here. You can go ahead and make changes however you want. In this case, let's say I just wanna change it to male VO and then I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and close the effect. So if I zoom out a little bit here, so our effect is now on this clip. However, it is not on this clip, nor is it on the entire track. And we can tell that it's not on the entire track because if we look at our mixer over here, and again, if you don't see the mixer, click right here to open it up. Under the effects right here, it's not lit up, right? If the effect was on the entire track, we would see this FX lit up. So now we have that on our track here, but I can't see it. I only know it's there because of this little symbol right there that says FX. So how do I adjust it? Let's say I need to modify it. Well, right here in the edit tab, we can select our clip, come on up and open your inspector. And in your inspector, we wanna go to the effects tab. Now, just to make this a little bit bigger here, I'm gonna click this little drop down here going to make the inspector bigger for us. So now we can see all of the different parameters that we can adjust for this particular effect. And you're going to see whatever effect you choose, you're going to see all of the options right here. Now, this doesn't look as nice as what we saw in the beginning there, right? So you can adjust it right here using these tools if you want. But if that's not as easy to look at as the actual window itself, all you have to do is come on up to this little icon right here, click on it, and it's going to open the window back up for us and you can go ahead and adjust anything that you want. And this is only gonna be on that one particular clip. So if I move this out of the way, let's just play through this clip. I'm gonna turn it off, turn it on. You can just hear what it's doing with the default settings. I didn't change anything else uh, with this effect. A lot of times we're gonna need to drop an audio effect onto a track or onto a clip. There's a lot of different ways we can do it. That's what we're talking about today. Gonna to be working in. So we'd need some adjustment, but you get the idea. Now it's only on that particular clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now let's say maybe you had a couple of clips that you needed to apply that effect to, but you still didn't want it on the entire track. I'm gonna close my inspector real quick here. And let's just uh, cut up this clip here. So we've got a few you know, extra clips to apply this effect to. What I can do if I have any number of effects on a given clip and I wanna copy it to another clip, I can select my clip, press Command or Control C, to copy. I want to go to my new clip that I want to paste it onto. And let's say it's this one right here. I'm going to use Option or Alt on a PC plus the V key. And that's going to allow us to paste our attributes. Now we want to come down to our audio attributes. And if you wanted to do your volume and your EQ, you can select all of them. 
But if you only wanted that effect, you're only going to want to select plugins right here. And that's going to paste the plugin onto that clip. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. So now we can see we've got the FX there. If I open the inspector back up, come to my effects, make sure I've clicked on my audio track here. We can see we've got all of our effects there. We can open our window back up like that, make any adjustments we might want. And if we click on the clips before it, notice up here, there is no effects on those particular clips. So you can paste it to as many clips as you want, and it's going to have the same parameters for you. Now, let's say maybe I put it on here and oops, I don't want to do that. I don't like it. I can just come back to my inspector, open the effects and click on the delete button, and that'll get rid of the effect. And while we're at it, let's select our first clip here and delete that one as well. So now let's say maybe I want to apply that effect onto the entire track. How can I do that right here in the edit tab? Again, we want to make sure we've got our effects open and we want to select whatever effect we want. And this time, instead of dragging and dropping it on a clip, we want to drop it over here on the track, right? On where it says the track name and the information about the track right here. So if you drop it right there, it's going to apply it to the entire track. So if I just close our effect right here, you'll notice we don't see the little FX on any one of our clips right here. And even if I zoom in, we don't see it because it's on the entire track, not on an individual clip. So if I were to select a clip, notice there's no effects there because it's on a track level. If I wanted to modify the effect that I've got on my track right here in the edit tab, I can just select right over here in the track area. And it's kind of hard because it doesn't look like you're actually selecting anything. And even if I deselect my clip there, it doesn't look like I'm selecting the track, but you actually are. And if you have your inspector open and you look right here, effects, there we go. That's where our effect is on the entire track. And again, we can adjust all of our parameters, or if you want to pop out the window, you click on this guy right here and it'll open up the effect for us. So I'm going to close that down. Now, the other thing that we can do, or the other place you can drag and drop it is if I delete this effect, let's say I want to put it on the track and I don't feel like dragging and dropping it here. You can click, hold and drag and drop any effect in the mixer, in the edit tab right over here. And it's going to apply it to the entire track. So boom, I drop it on there. It pops open the window. I'm going to close my window. And now we can see effects right there. It's on the entire track. And if I select the track, we see our effects under the audio section right here versus if I were to select the clip, an individual clip, no effects. So that is how we can put it on the entire track without even having to jump into Fairlight. You don't have to jump over there if you don't want to. So you can do it right here in the edit tab. So those are the ways you can do this really quick and easy in the edit tab. And the edit tab is where I work most of the time, but maybe you're a cut tab person, right? So let's jump over into the cut tab. Now you can do the exact same things right here in the cut tab. So if I were to scroll forward a little bit, I can make sure I have my effects library open, have my audio section selected, I can click and drag any effect. And if I want to put it on the entire track, I'm going to drag and drop it right over here. And once I let go, we'll see our effect window pop up. I'm going to close that. And if we have our track selected over here in our inspector, we can now see our effects and it's on the entire track. So we could play through it and hear how it sounded. DaVinci Resolve audio effects. There's a lot of times we're going to need to drop an audio effect onto a track. There you go. So we made a little adjustment there. A same thing here in the cut tab. If you want to see the entire effect, you can click on this little icon and then you're going to get your window here for your effect and you can adjust it however you want. So now we can go ahead and delete that. Let's say I don't want it there. Let's say I want to put an effect on the clip itself. Let's say I want the multiband compressor come and now I'm going to drop it right on the clip right here. And you can see the clips highlighted in our timeline here. I'm going to drop it on there. Let's just make a couple crazy changes here so we can hear the difference. Close that out. Here's what it sounds like. Or onto a clip. There's a lot of different ways. Okay, so if I select my track, no effects up here, right? There's no effects. It doesn't say we have anything. On my clip itself, we can see the little FX right there. And if I select the clip in my inspector, we have our effects. Here's all our parameters. I don't like to look at it that way because that's confusing. So I'm going to open up our effects window. Let's say, oops, I need to reset that. Reset, close it. Boom, we're good to go. Ways we can do it. That's what we're talking about. So that's how you can drop an effect onto either a clip or onto the entire track, depending on what you want to do right here in the cut tab. Now we're going to jump over into Fairlight. I love me some Fairlight. So let's jump over there. Fairlight is musical notes at the bottom here. Now in Fairlight, we can do the exact same thing that we've already talked about in the edit tab. We can open our effects library. We can click, hold and drag an effect onto a particular clip. 
or onto the track right here. But typically when I am in Fairlight here, I'm gonna close my effects there. What I'm gonna do is use the mixer. So in the mixer on the Fairlight tab here, we've got a lot more tools available to us that are gonna work on a entire track level. So if you don't see your uh, mixer right here, make sure you click on the little icon at the top, mixer. Now I'm gonna just check my in my inspector, make sure I have no effects on my track. I have some on my clip here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Now let's say I wanted to add an effect here. The way we can do this in the mixer is come to our effects section right here. I can click on the little plus, and then we can go through and select whatever effect we might wanna use. Let's say I want dynamics, fair light effects, multi-band compressor. The window will pop up for us. I'll make my changes, I'll close it, and now it's applied to the entire track. We can tell that by looking right here. We have the FX that tells us it's on the entire track. If we select our track, the track will actually highlight here in Fairlight, which makes it a little easier to know that you selected the track. And then in our inspector under effects, again, we can see all of this right here. We can pop the window back out, but an even easier way to work with the effect once it's on an entire track is to close my inspector. And right here in my mixer, we have our effect, the multiband compressor. If I hover over it, you're gonna see three different controls here. We have a bypass to turn it on and off. We have our settings or our controls. And then we've got more options as far as things like disabling it or changing it and swapping it for a different plugin. But if you hover here and you just click in the middle of our little icon there on the controls, boom, there's our window. We can now go through and edit it however we want and make the changes that we need to make. I'm gonna close that down. So now our effect is applied on the track. It was really easy. It's easy to get back and make adjustments if we need to. Now, one other thing, just to throw it in there that you might be wondering about is the order in which your audio gets processed. So when you're working with things like noise reduction, effects, dynamics, compression, EQ, there's an order in which your audio goes through those different things, right? So when we first start working with our audio, especially here in Fairlight, our audio is gonna go through any kind of noise reduction or any of these track level effects. Those are gonna happen first. Then we can actually tell Resolve what order we'd like to do things in. And for me, I prefer most of the time with dialogue and talking head stuff is to come in to Fairlight, click on this order and change it to EQ, Dynamics, then Effects. Now, the reason I like to use that order is because I want to take my audio, I wanna remove any of the background noise that I can, typically using something like voice isolation. Then I wanna use the EQ to pull out and remove anything that doesn't sound good. It sounds harsh to my ears. The frequency of a particular sound doesn't sound good. I'm gonna use the EQ to remove that. Once I've got the audio cleaned up, I EQ'd it, it's sounding good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some dynamics to it, a little bit of compression, maybe an expander or a gate if I need it. And then once the dynamics is set, then I'm gonna go ahead and add on effects. Now, most of the time, I don't wanna add effects in the beginning of that audio signal chain because if you've got problems, it can accentuate those problems and make them worse. So I like to clean up my audio, make it sound as good as I can, and then we apply effects at the end. Now, unless you jump into Fairlight, you're not gonna be able to swap around the order and change things. So that's something you can only do here in Fairlight. I do have other videos talking a little bit more about it, um, but that's one thing that you wanna be aware of and just something to look into a little bit if you don't know anything about it, is the order in which your audio is gonna be processed by all these different things that we're doing to it. Now, another little bit of audio advice. I know sometimes you might want to use an effect just on a particular clip and that's okay. But a lot of times maybe I've got, you know, different portions of, you know, my talking head stuff or where I was recording in my garage here where I want to apply different effects. Well, instead of having clips with a lot of different effects on it, right, per clip, where you'd have to copy it all around, paste it, change it, if you wanted to make any changes, that could be kind of cumbersome. So what I would recommend is this. In Fairlight here, we can do this in the edit tab. You can do it in Fairlight, wherever, it doesn't matter. Um, but the idea of moving things to different tracks, just so that way you can use track level effects, because if you had to change something later on, you'll only have to do it once and it's gonna apply to everything. So let's just say that, uh, I'm, I'm gonna cut this up a little bit here and make a few extra cuts randomly here. But let's say your project maybe had some different things that you need to do to different parts of the audio. Well, here in Fairlight or in the Edit tab, you can select your clip and then just pop it down to a new layer. Now, if you're in the Edit tab, you want to use your Option or Alt key to select just the audio portion of your clip and not the video. But then we can use our Option or Alt key and then just pop it down a track. 
by using your arrow keys. So I can come and select the ones I want to move down to a different track, drop them down real easy. Now, let's say maybe on this first track here, I wanted that multiband compressor, but let's say on the second track, I needed the multiband compressor, but I needed to change some settings on it. Well, I can just copy it over to another track. You can copy and paste it like I showed earlier in the video, or you can come to your effects right here in your mixer, hold your alt or option key, just click, hold and drag. And it's just going to copy the effect onto the new track. Then I can go ahead and open it up, make some changes here, whatever you want to do, close it out. Now we're good to go. So the clips in our first track are going to have our settings for our one multiband compressor. The settings in our second track are going to have a whole different set of settings that work better for those particular clips. And I can't stress the importance of separating out your audio, right? Between different um, voices, different people, different microphones, different locations, because each one's probably going to need a little bit of tweaking, even if it's fairly similar. You can copy effects, EQ, dynamics, and copy all that stuff real quick and easy, but you want to be able to separate out those different types of audio, different locations, different microphones, so that you can work with them individually and make sure you can get them sounding the best that they can. So that is how to work with audio effects here in DaVinci Resolve in a nutshell. You've got different ways you can do it, like so many things in Resolve, a lot of different ways we can do things here. So these are how you can do it in Cut Tab, Edit Tab, Fairlight, depending on where you like to work and how you want to get the job done when working with your audio. Now you can apply effects to buses and get more advanced with stuff and use the new sidechain feature on some audio effect, work with third-party plugins and all that kind of stuff. But that's a little more advanced. I just want to give you guys an overview of how to work with the plugins, how you can apply them, delete them, change them, adjust them as necessary. But when it comes to your audio, it's super important and you should be doing a little bit of audio editing. So if you are not sure how to work with your audio and how to edit it, I've got tons of free videos here on my YouTube channel. You can check those out. Or if you want a one-stop shop, you can check out my course, Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve. Goes through all the basics of audio editing, how to get your audio sounding awesome, and uh, how to really take it to the next level. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video. It was good hanging. All right, I'm off to edit this video. If you have questions, comments, drop it down below. All right, see ya. Peace.